Your 2019 United States Air Force Air Demonstration Squadron, known to all the world as the Thunderbirds! I'm joined by Captain Michelle Curran from the United States Air Force Thunderbirds. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Absolutely, happy to be here. Tell us, who are the Thunderbirds? So the Thunderbirds are the Air Force's aerial demonstration team. So like the Navy has the Blue Angels, the Air Force has the Thunderbirds. So we travel all over the country for about nine months a year. And pretty much every weekend we're putting six jets up in the air for two different shows uh, and showing you precise, close flying, high speed, high G maneuvers really just show the precision that our team can achieve when we all come together and to represent all the 600,000 people that are in the Air Force. So I'm Thunderbird 6, which is the posing solo. There's one through four of the diamond. They will fly close together pretty much the entire show. They do a lot of loops, rolls, very majestic looking. And then you have five and six, which is what I do. And we really show the performance of the F-16. So we'll do high speed passes uh, with one of us inverted sometimes. Um, we'll do a max G turn, which I do. We do vertical rolls where we go from 200 feet up to 15,000 feet in just a few seconds, really to highlight what the jet can do. What is your favorite maneuver? I like vertical rolls. It's fun to run in 200 feet above the ground at 500 knots, so I'm, I go up to 0.94 Mach for that, and then pull eight to nine Gs straight vertical, and then I'll spiral all the way up to 15,000 feet. So it's a fun maneuver to fly, and the crowd loves it. All right, so we're gonna talk about G-forces a little bit. All right, we've got a really simple demonstration here. So we've got a weight. You can do this with a quarter and a string in your classroom. We wanted something a little bit bigger so you could see it on camera. So I'm gonna hand this to you, and you can feel the weight of this kind of coin here, right? Correct. All right, so spin it around, the, around your head. It's off the head. All right, does it feel like that, that coin's getting a little bit heavier? It's definitely getting heavier the faster I spin it. All right, so tell me, how does this relate to flying an airplane? So when it's hanging here at 1G, it's like us standing here, uh, and G is gravity, right? So for simple math, we'll say that it weighs one ounce uh, when it's hanging here. The faster it goes, the more it accelerates, the more Gs that it pulls. So when I'm flying, if I'm going fast and then all of a sudden I roll up and pull, whether that's this way or if that's straight up, like vertical rolls like I mentioned, depending on the acceleration, that's gonna multiply those Gs. So in my jet, I go up to nine Gs. If I weighed 100 pounds, which I don't, but from simple math, uh, if I weigh 100 pounds standing here, it's 900 pounds of force on my body when we go uphill or around in a circle at nine Gs. That is incredible. And teachers, this is a real simple lesson you can do in your class. A lot of math extensions that you can do with it. We hope that you give it a whirl in your classroom. And if you get a chance to check out the Thunderbirds, go see them. They are amazing. Thanks so much for talking with us. Absolutely.